All right, everybody. Theta Crypto Explained. Theta Coin. Theta Token. Theta Coin Explained. Here's your review from your friendly neighborhood software engineer. Seriously, if you look at my comments, there's a lot of comments about Theta, so I am finally getting to it. Guys, I only have that much time in the day, so I can't make every single video of every single coin that you guys want me to review. But taking a look at this one, I do appreciate those who called out Theta because all the attention that it got and all the attention it got in the comments, I was like, okay, what the heck is this Theta that people keep on talking about? So I took a look and it blew my mind. Now here's the thing, you know when Facebook, Twitter, and all the social media platforms came over, it really changed the face of advertising and Theta is going to do that again, but it looks like it has the monopoly on how it's gonna do it. Because with Theta, advertisers and influencers have new ways of doing things, which I'll explain in the video, so that's why you should watch the entire video. With Theta, with their network, new revenue streams, new royalty streams are gonna be available for streamers, for influencers, and the like. So that is why this is going to be such a game changer because nowadays it looks like influencers really have more weight in their words versus what brands show on the Super Bowl ads, for example. That's what I think. Because for consumers, we are so tired of commercials running to try to sell us things that we'd rather listen to the guy on YouTube like this guy rather than what they show us on Super Bowl commercials. So that's that. All right, guys, whether you're returning or you're new to my channel, you know what to do next. It's time to smash like button and smash the subscribe button. And now let's jump into Theta. All right, so as usual, I read the white paper so you don't have to, but I really suggest you should because it's a really interesting read. But according to the white paper, the video statistics is what we have to go through first. It said that live video streaming accounts for more than two thirds of internet traffic today. And it is really because of millennials age 18 to 34 who is really driving the growth behind that traffic. They are heavy users of Netflix, YouTube, and HBO. And I swear, myself as a millennial, I'm on YouTube pretty much constantly. Why do you think I do YouTube videos? According to SSRS Media and Technology, they ran a report and said that millennials spend 5.7 hours per week streaming and this was back in 2018 so now it's probably even more with the pandemic and everything all right so let's talk about the problem so there's something called content delivery networks which are called cdns and they provide the backbone to deliver streams to end users that is without cdns the videos that you watch would actually be very very choppy so where you're living right now if you're living in the city there's a data center nearby that is serving you that content but if you live in the middle of nowhere like in the middle of siberia in russia then you're probably not going to get any video because because there's no data center near there. It's just white desert. Now there is this problem called the last mile delivery problem. And that's exactly what I talked about. When CDNs don't have a data center near the viewers that are viewing the stream, and this usually happens in less developed regions, then the viewers get a very choppy video stream, which gives them a bad experience. And we don't want that because a bad experience means that you're not gonna return and their eyeballs mean money for us. Now for popular sites, CDN costs can reach up to tens of millions of dollars per year. And as the resolution of our TVs and our screens get better and better, the the hosting and the CDNs are becoming more expensive fast. So here is the opportunity for Theta. So the opportunity is the time to use blockchain technology, leverage blockchain technology to create the first decentralized video streaming and delivery network. So viewers like you and I are incentivized to share our computing and bandwidth resources to help solve the problems that we just described. And this forms what they call the world cache. So if you're thinking this sounds like BitTorrent, then yeah, you're right. It's very much like BitTorrent because with viewers being close to each other, that really solves the last mile delivery problem. And with enough viewers being cached at scale, that also reduces the CDN bandwidth costs. And lastly, they reduce the dependency on CDNs, making foveated and next generation streaming possible. All right, so I just talked about foveated streaming, but what is that? So with foveated streaming, what they deliver is high resolution to your eyes, depending on where your eyes are. So that is crazy because what's happening now, if you look at the TV, they deliver high resolution for every part of your TV, even though there are some parts you're not even even focused on. So with foveated streaming, what they do is you have your hand here, you're focusing on this part. So what the computer does or the technology does is that they deliver high res to your eyes that is looking to this part of the screen. But this part of the screen, this other part where my hand is moving right now, that is where your eyes are not focusing on or wasn't. And because your eyes weren't focusing on this part, the technology will automatically deliver 
deliver low res on there because you're not even focusing on it. So why do you care? You're only focusing on this high res part. So the technology would actually direct high resolution to the part you're focusing on. So this technology actually focuses on tracking on your eyes to see where your eyes focuses on and deliver high res to the part that your eyes is focused on. This is especially dangerous for my men in the channel because when you're watching a movie with your girl and there is a hot actress that is wearing a very low cut shirt and you're looking at that shirt and it goes high res then your girl knows exactly what you're looking at. You might get into a little trouble. So Theta Tokens actually really incentivizes viewers to contribute computing and bandwidth resources. So it's like staking. They stake to make video streaming better for everyone and earn tokens that have value. And viewers can earn Theta Tokens with their attention and engagement with advertisers. Influencers can earn Theta from viewers and advertisers as gifts. So really the idea is to get our stream, our content from another viewer who is also hosting the same content that we want to watch. Now, if that viewer does not exist, then the fallback is that we automatically call the CDN as a backup to get the content that we want to watch. And this makes the entire stream less disruptive and less costly. All right, guys, quick pause. I'm gonna talk a little bit about health because health isn't pushed by the YouTube algorithm. So I'm taking this opportunity to do so. But if you get into a car accident and you have to stay in the hospital for six months, for the first 20 days, Medicare actually covers you. After that, from 21 to 80 days, you have to pay a co-insurance of $176 in 2020. So what happens after that 100 days? Well, you have to pay for it all out of pocket. But we don't want you to dip into your investments, your 401k, because we want that to grow. We want that to stay there. So what do you do in that situation? So if you wanna know what to do, then please please be sure to check out our Discord server. Right now, it is free. But as it grows more and more and more, and there are more people, that means that I will have to shut that down. Shut it down so let's pay to get in. So if you want to get in for free right now and get free information like this and ask me questions, then please just join the Discord server. The link is in the description and I'll be waiting for you there. All right, so let's talk about the Theta blockchain ledger. The Theta blockchain ledger was built on the multi-level BFT consensus mechanism. And this allowed thousands of nodes to participate in the consensus process of staking while supporting very high number of transactions per second. Now, like other kinds of staking, if you become a validator and you behave badly, then the tokens that you state get slashed. That means they get taken away from you. Now, there are two kinds of validators on Theta, validators and guardians, and both creates and validates blocks. And the details are really complex, so I'm not even going to go into it in this video, and you don't really need to know it, but it requires you to lock up a certain amount of tokens for a certain period of time. And again, slashes happen to those locked tokens if you behave badly. The entire idea is that you are getting your video content off of your peers, which could be your neighbors. So you're really paying them tokens in order to get video content off of them. And they will validate that transaction with the blockchain and the validators and the guardians. At this point, you're probably thinking, I have to pay tokens to my neighbor for the content that they're hosting. And I'm going to say, yeah, but at the same time, you are also hosting that same content. So someone else will be paying you their tokens for the same content that you're watching from your neighbor. So all kind of ends up in a circle, which means that the way to be profitable is basically to just watch less than your neighbor neighbor, but still keep on hosting the video content. So let's talk about smart contract support. So Theta is a sneaky little b Solidity based Ethereum smart contracts can be ported to the Theta ledger with little effort. This allows Theta to leverage Ethereum's community of developers. This will allow video platforms to write the loyalty smart contracts, basically loyalty programs in smart contract mode to engage users. Another idea is that dApps or decentralized applications can allow advertisers to reward their viewers with NFTs. And that is an insane idea considering how hot the NFT market is right now. And you're going to get off on this one. Think about it. This way. Smart contracts can be written so that instead of monthly subscriptions, you pay as you go for video streaming. Imagine if you can watch Netflix, not based on a monthly or yearly subscription, but on a pay as you go basis. That's going to save you so much money. And Theta Ledger's method for tracking micropayments and video segments allow for these types of smart contracts. They can also allow for new ways of royalty distribution for creators in a more transparent way. Honestly, I am now seeing this as kind of like an NFT for video content to a certain extent. Here are some final notes. Theta is used strictly for staking and security of the network. There is another token in the Theta blockchain called Gamma, which is an operational token. So it's on a two token model. And Gamma handles the operations and transactions for video segments, smart contract operations, and etc. So it's like Ethereum's gas fees, how they explain it. We need Gamma because staking Theta will actually reduce supply. 
and gamma is needed to be a highly liquid token that facilitates millions of transactions for video streaming. For those of you wondering, yes, gamma is the old name for what is called theta fuel now. So gamma is theta fuel. And there will only ever be 1 billion theta tokens. And there will be 5 billion gamma or theta fuel tokens. A 1 to 5 ratio of theta to gamma. And gamma is inflationary at 5% a year. And this is needed because gamma is burned while streaming content and smart contract operations in order to keep it at a healthy level. So you earn gamma from staking as well. So guys, this is something that you might want to buy because video streaming is only going to get bigger. If you think about the closest people to you and how much streaming that they watch, which is probably a lot because of some friends of mine, they actually stay up all night in order to watch Korean and Chinese drama. So I'm like, holy crap, this is going to be insane. For the people who are interested and are bought in in the theta, they are going to make a lot of money. But don't take my advice for investing. I am not a crypto investment advisor. I'm a YouTuber. And I make these videos for you both for entertainment and educational purposes so that you actually know what you're buying into. You know what? When your friends are telling you that they are staying up all night to watch Korean drama or Chinese drama and you are invested into theta and you see dollar signs while you're sleeping, you're going to sleep pretty well. So that's where I'm leaving it today guys because it was a lot of information and please make sure to subscribe because I might do more videos on Theta seeing as how it fits in with the video market and me being a creator and all. And for those of you who are wondering because I did a video on Holochain, go watch that. Holochain and Theta are what I see two different things so you can't really compare them together. So that's that short and brief. Otherwise, please be sure to smash like button, smash the subscribe button, check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.